Yeah, Sakura this, Sakura that. Oh, that's as bad. I can't get Sakura. I can't, I can't get Sakura back. I can't do anything. Right. Was... Welcome back to New Sakura Wars. <coughs> I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. I'm surprised Kamiyama is thinking all of this in his head when two of the exact same woman walked by him and didn't say a word. Ah, Hakushu, here to talk about how sad Sakura is. Oh God, here it comes. Well, two girls yelled at me, and I'm such a simp that I'm sad about it, even though I'm their superior officer, and I can have them reprimanded for insubordination. So he taught you swordplay, baby? Did he? Wait, how does that make sense? I thought maybe they were lovers, I don't know. Oh, well, maybe. I mean, how could you resist that beard? <laughs> I mean, have you seen his daughter? I can imagine little else that would leave you so defeated. Nothing else on this world would bring me as much despair and sadness and misery than Sakura being sad and mad at me. And that is very bad. Well, you know, ma'am, the other thing that's got me down is the fact that you haven't planted that rep red lipstick all over my face. Because I've struck out with every other girl, might as well try you next. Now why would I go with a man like you? Well, I have Omu Rice. Well, I know another place I can put my red lipstick. <laughs> right on the rice. You know it. An individual right. kiss on every single grain of rice. Yes, she she dots the I in <laughs> I love you that's written in ketchup. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, she's secretly a maid. Alright, what is Sakura to me? What am I going to tell her master? What Sakura is to me? She a footstool! A trophy! But she's, she's a vital member of the team. Oh my god! <sighs> 42 more minutes of this?! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think my capture card is getting tired of this shit. <laughs> I noticed that too! <laughs> oh, it's probably going to eject the disc at mock speed at this rate. <laughs> what do we know about this character? She likes to make jokes. She's good with the sword, I assume. We had never seen her use said sword, even though she's te she's taught so many people and she's a world-renowned swordswoman. And she likes Omu Rice. That's all we know about her. Why did she fight? What did she see in Sakura? Like, does she have any other students? What's her favorite technique? What's the nature of her sword fighting? What, what do you like about me? Do you like to sit anywhere else? Do you like to eat anywhere else? Do you have any suggestions for food that you could have at this restaurant you like to frequent so much? What about the decor? I imagine that your inside could really help us in the theater. Would you like to be a part of our staff? Would you like to have a few scenes together aside from just talking about how great soccer is and talking about rice and making jokes? Would you like to develop as a character? <sighs> Sorry, I went somewhere. Yeah, you, you went to a different galaxy. W welcome back, how's the oxygen? I'm good. <clears throat> God, this reminds me of the soap operas that are still airing to this day at about, a, like, 12.30. I mean, the Soccer Wars games have always been soapy, I mean, I assume. Soccer Wars 5 can be pretty soapy sometimes, but at least they got, like, good arcs and shit. Anyway, sorry, Sumire. 
I failed. Sakura is too much of a bitch for me to talk any sense into. She'd rather just... She's questioning her entire morals, and apparently that's my fault that I can't shake her from this character death that she's, you know, going through. Kamiyama, how dare you use the B word? What? Belief. Oh. The Sakura I know would never put Tokyo in harm's way. Wow, it's so, a good thing we know her too. Okay, so you're just as deluded as she is. That's wonderful. Alright, a little bit more about Operation Twin Capitals. Why in the world did we fucking send all the characters into a dark dimension never to return? The demons have opened up a portal. Combat reviews, they call it the Circle of Retcon. So what? We, I, I just gotta shut my eyes tight and just believe that everyone's still alive! Everyone's still alive! I just gotta believe! I gotta believe! That to me means... That, that to me means I can make up my own reason as to how the reviews are still alive and how they can wreck on this entire bullshit. Or at least coexist with them, this bad writing. Fill in the blank. Right. So, okay, it's been ten years for us, but in the Dark Dimension, let's say that time works differently. So it's been like about, oh, say... Two years. Sure, why not? You can explain anything away and if you if you write good enough. But anyway, it's only been two years, everybody's aged up, everyone's kinda changed, and then they all come back somehow, and then they just kinda go back to what they were doing. But I then, believe. you know, the, the original Tokyo group are like, oh wait, you guys got it here. Well then we'll just go somewhere else and they go to like, I don't know, Bolivia or something. I believe I've already made the comparison to Avengers Endgame, but yeah, I actually wouldn't mind if time passed differently in the Demon Realm, and they just came back and were like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. That'd be the only way you could save this. That would be the only way you could write yourself out of this terrible, 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 terrible corner you've written yourselves into. Yes, Claris, take me to somewhere else. Seriously, you do look good with glasses. Just throwing that out there. You look good in Diana's style. Now, if only you... If only you could communicate with the birds. Now I gotta break your leg so you can be in a wheelchair <laughs> just like her. I was trying not to go there. <laughs> Did it anyway. Then I try to let her have bird friends, like, you know, Diane does. You know, she's friends with the birds, but it then it turns into Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Exactly. I was just thinking, it's like, come here, my bird friends. It's, ah! 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 Don't ah, stop! Stop! Why are we here? I don't know, but whatever. I'll tell you what's up, though, I guess. Ooh, wow, that was good for points. Alright, so this is nice. I'm confiding in Claris. Despite the fact that she's kind of weird and kind of deranged, she she's smart. And Oh, hey, Azami's here too. I guess I just can't have one scene alone with a girl. Unless if it's Sakura, in which case I do everything alone. But, uh, but alright, whatever. I'll go ahead and spill. Okay. I am from another game. I was in an Armored Core game that never got made. I'm the main character from Armored Core 6. I'm one of the rejected characters from Valkyria Chronicles 5. <laughs> it's, it's a tragic tale, honestly. They were going to replace me with Sonic the Hedgehog. So, I'm sorry, but I think this is Sakura's problem that she's having doubts because her entire you know, character morale has been compromised. That's nothing I could fix, but they're treating it all like it's my fault. 
she sees herself as a pawn. She doesn't like being a soldier anymore because she doesn't like what it represents, just being something that can be used and tossed aside. What can I say? Oh, uh, what, what am I supposed to be like? Oh, no, that doesn't happen. This is a happy war where everybody does what they want and everybody fights on their own terms. No, sometimes you gotta do what you don't want in order to protect the ones you love. But, you know, I tried telling her that and she's like, no, I hate that, I hate you, go away. I wish you were never captain. Don't you know? Even if you're a doctor, you should clearly be able to fix my cancer. I just feel like this isn't my fault! But I mean, we're, you know, me and the story are at another crossroads. The, the game is like, oh no, Sakura doesn't feel like coming back, how are you going to manage without her? And I'm thinking, pretty fucking well. You know, just imagine if this happened in a different JRPG where you did not level up this character a lot. And I'm talking like actual experience points and everything else. And they focus this much on one particular character. You know, I think that's why I've, I've really enjoyed the social link system in Persona 3 through 5. Because certain social links don't open up until later on in the game after people have had their character development. And then, pursuing them gets you more character development. This is another thing that the game's starting to do now. Every little conundrum, every little problem that they have... Every little self-doubt they have can be fixed, resolved, made a non-issue by going, Don't worry, you've got us, and we've got your back. Friends. Friends. That's basically it. Just, you know, walking in. Friends! Friends. So, so, hey, Hatsuho. Let me go ahead and talk you down, yeah? I mean... Friends. Uh... Look, look, come on. I want to explain myself, and, you know, being mad isn't going to help Sakura, because after all, that's the most important thing. So, you know, let me expend an olive branch. It's it's not what it looks like. Just come on, help me out. I appreciate you. Blah, blah, blah. Friends, I got your back. I believe Friends. in you. Friends. Friends. You know, you warned me about this chapter. And I've been awaiting it for so long, but I just realized I just need you to vent. <laughs> this is the rant chapter. I gotta tell you why it's bad. <laughs> I gotta tell you why. Well, I mean, it's somewhat self-explanatory, I've noticed. I mean, it wouldn't be good if I was like, you know, you know, I don't like this chapter. Anyway, the thing about chili is that it tastes really good when you put a lot of paprika in it. I don't know. If we had just like a subsection of chili talk, I think that would be pretty good. This is Chili Talk with UDJ and the Nisco, and we're here to talk about the best kind of chili. You know what? Fuck it, let's bring back Orange Peripheral. <laughs> chili <laughs> Peripheral! Yeah! Talk about different types of chilies. All right, well, let's check out our team status. And, uh, <gasps> girls, I've got a Claris. question of the day for you. Now that you are all at the front Yo! row, tell me now, what is your favorite kind of chili? Hakushu, I know that your favorite type of chili has oma rice in it, but oh, because shit. of all of your chili love, we now become the chilliest captain of all, the flower division captain wow. of chili. Isn't that what we already were? Yeah, but now we're like, we're like fully fledged and like ah. we're, we've embraced our role as captain because we got so many people behind us. Because after all, friends is how we achieve our... Oh. Hey, friends is how we cook chili, okay? Friends is how we cook chili, that's right. This is how we put the best chili together for the cook-off later. That's what the end of this chapter is. You always cook chili with your friends. Hey, uh, wait, wait, hang on. Uh, um, wh well, where's the comma? D anyway, that? it's the next game. Uh, it's the next day, uh, yes. Ah, oh, the morning scent of chili that's been reheated from the last night. And the review games where chili would be served is tomorrow! <gasps> we need to get plenty of chili. There's going to be a lot of people watching the games. We've ran out of chili. The kidney beats are gone. No! Zami, what is going on? Don't tell me we're out of habanero. 
I mean, we skipped through the whole breaking into my room and, you know, waking me up and all that. Let's just, like, you would never do this. Why are you here? It's important. The ground beef is gone. We have to use sausage instead. No, not the ground beef. Hatsuho's gone. Uh, well. I have right, run away to go pursue another chili eating contest. I have gone away to beat the crap out of Sakura. <laughs> you know, maybe I wouldn't feel so bad about this game if I just think of Chili instead of Sakura. You know, if we start replacing characters we don't like with different items that we do like, it, it might have an upswing by the end. Yeah, I just have my favorite foods replacing all my ca hated characters. Like, like, look, there's, uh... Uh, Unagi Sushi and, uh, uh, <laughs> lasagna. Holy crap, who snuck into my room to wake me up? Oh, it's Sushi! Zero! Holy <laughs> <laughs> shit! Uh, Arthur's oh. okay, but why is he standing after next to that piece of pizza? <laughs> <laughs> These are the delusions going through Kamiya's head. Kamiyama's head, excuse me. And oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh man, slap that so, man witch right in the face! So Sakura and Hatsuhara are just Whoa. punching each other right in the face! Hell this is a straight yeah. up street brawl! Oh, this is awesome! Right There's in the just, face! Just b blow by blow! Just back by bang! Oh, kick her ass! Do it! Dunk her in the in the tub! Break yeah. her spine! See, this is where the Yakuza influence comes in, man. Just smash her against that that tub there. I need heat actions against Sakura. <laughs> and then the yen just starts pouring out. Oh, right there! Kagretskin! She is acting like a spoiled brat. Thank you. You wouldn't understand. Well, they were my dreams, and my dreams line. are more important than your dreams. You don't care about anything. Oh what my god. What a bitch. A clothesline would solve everything here. I care about you. I care about the team. I care about... Chili. We make steaks in Sakura Wars 5. It's a great moment. What if we made chili in this game? I think that would alleviate a lot of tension. We don't, we don't have any bonding exercises as a team. It's always just, what a great day, folks. Yep, see you later. And then it's just one-on-one -on -one stuff with Kamiyama. Yeah, and then you make chili later, and that's how you start bonding. I mean, what the fuck are Anastasia, like Azami, and Clarice doing right now? The, oh, I think they're probably making chili. If we're, if we're such a team, then why aren't they with me? It's kind of like the making curry in Sword and Shield. You can get all your friends in on it and make better curry. So she's given, like, you know, a really legitimate, like, you know, pep speaks, but then she's like, no! I reject all that shit! Because... reasons. This is like finding out that Barney is just a guy in a suit, and she just can't take it. What?! Okay, you best be lying. Going onto you... Sesame Street and- Oh no! Hatsuho is gonna punch her oh, in the yeah, face! Right there, I gotta stop right her! Oh, don't say a word. Don't say a goddamn word. <laughs> Where's the impact? Oh, come on, you big wuss. Boo. See, we deserve that one. That's for everything you put me through, Kamiyama. Was that a legit throat punch? Yep, it was. <laughs> yeah, he's out. Good night, Kamiyama. Thanks for nothing. Crushed windpipe and dreams of chili. Oh, Hatsuha punched me in the face, but uh, at least I can wake up and- GOD, NO! <laughs> <laughs> 
damn it! I wanted Natsuho! No, I know who you are now! I know your true nature! You only care about yourself! You don't want to face realities about what's around you, so you want to live in your own delusions! Get me off your fucking lap! You stupid little child of a woman! Maybe you do not have Sakura the maturity is... to be a part of this review. As your captain, I am putting you on administrative leave. You will remain here until you understand what it means to be part of the combat review. Do I make myself clear? Come on, Hatsuho. We're needed. There's a glitch in the Matrix. Just Sakura. If I close my eyes really hard, I can make that a reality. What if I delete all the other characters, and then it'll just be you and me, Kamiyama? No, we're not going Yandere on here. Just Sakura. No, no, no. Just Sakura. Oh, God. Just Sakura and Chili. I was chasing Hatsuho. I was chasing, I was chasing yes. Yeah. Thank you. I was chasing Hatsuho, whose lap I would rather be on. Wouldn't it be great if we had some, like, divergence? Like, because I have more points with Hatsuho than Sakura, I would be on her lap instead? And do you think, now do you, do you I think that'd to be too Google. hard to ask? New Sakura Wars. Oh, good fucking luck. Nobody's done anything on this fucking game, barely. CG cutscenes. Let's see. God, you're right. Nobody has touched this game. Uh, are we... Are we the definitive new Soccer Awards Let's Play? I hope not. That would be embarrassing. Oh. My god. We... Oh, we might be... Hold on. Hold on. I gotta do the YouTube search. I got... Oh! Let's play new Soccer Awards results! Oh, where's... Where's the number of results? Please. Please. Where the fuck are the results now? YouTube, help me out here. They're somewhere. Um, well, I can tell you it's not just your series that gets low view numbers. <laughs> Nobody's watching New Soccer Awards. <laughs> why, I, I can't imagine why not! I mean, we've, showed, we've showcased how wonderful this game is, right? Wait, what the fuck? Seven reasons why you should play Soccer Wars? Get the fuck out of here! What, was, was one of the reasons? It's an exclusive console on PlayStation 4! Uh, hold on, let me see if there are... Let's see, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Number six better be the, the backgrounds and the environment. Oh, I'm not maybe, gonna watch... Maybe I'm the combat, the maybe the combat, that might be one of them. Hold on, let, let me check this person, see what, el what other videos they've done, let's see. Reviews, reviews, a lot of RPG stuff, top 10 JRPGs, We're top 10 down a rabbit hole, aren't we? Yeah, top 10 must play PS3 JRPGs, spooky RPGs, this person plays a lot of RPGs. Oh, they're like a news channel. Reactions, subscriber specials. Niskel, come on, man! N Sakura's still sad. Even after getting punched in the face three times by her best friend. Even after being told that it doesn't matter. Even even after just having a, re a reality dose. It still isn't enough. Like, I'd be sad if you punched me in the face. But then again, I probably deserved it. Like, why does she have such a weak constitution? We're supposed to believe in this girl, even though she's not fucking, like... Just, just... Oh my god, I think we are the only other people playing this game. <sighs> oh, hold on, I've only found one person who might have an entire series done. Yeah, because it brings up So Long My Love, it brings up, you know, fan translations. Did this person actually finish their, their playthrough? Oh my god. Let's see. So, what's basically happening is that we've we've done all we can do. Mm -hmm. We've we've 
Hatsuho tried, I tried, everybody fucking tried, everybody fucking tried their hardest to get Sakura out of her selfish little cocoon that she's built for herself. And with our <laughs> final words, we go back to the theater saying, all right, you just come back whenever you want to because I know you'll come back. I know you'll do the right thing, which is, of course, to come back to the review and do your job as a protector if you see yourself as truly one who is worthy as a successor of Sakura Shinguji. Grow up a little bit is what I'm saying, you know? Yeah? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'll believe you. Let's see. So I, so I come home empty-handed again, and yet no one's yelling at me now. Is it because we punched her a couple times? But she'll yes. do the right thing. I believe in her. I mean, it'd be terrible if the game were to try to push a terrible, weak-willed character onto us throughout the whole game, wouldn't it? That'd be, I mean, yeah, I mean, that'd be awesome. pretty bad. It'd be pretty bad. I mean, she's got until tomorrow. The games are tomorrow, man. She's got to, like, slap herself in the cheeks or something. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give this person credit. They have custom thumbnails to where they drew Hatsuho themselves. Oh, nice. And their finale, which was part 24, oops, oops. Um, shows uh, shows a CG of Hatsuho, I assume, at the ending. So, good taste there, bucko. I think Hatsuho's the basic favorite, but it's just too bad the game didn't think so. I mean... Look at this! <clears throat> Hatsuho's having a character moment! She's looking inside herself, saying, yeah, but, yeah, but... <sighs> it's all because of Sakura, though! This is killing you. This it is destroying me, man! It is actually killing you. Sakura's so great, she's so kind and sweet and noble, she's the one who guides me. I have no, I have no agency of my own. As long as Sakura is happy, that's a- Oh, I guess I like shrines and festivals and stuff, I guess that's something, but... It's mostly Sakura. I feel you dying. Why am I sweating? <laughs> <laughs> and now I feel bad for punching my best friend in the face. Oh my god, this person gets it. You know what? Your, your video doesn't line up with the borders. Looks like you recorded it directly from your PS4. But your description is anime aesthetics, stock tropes, mechas, and dating. That's weeb trash if I've ever heard of it. Uh, yep, that's pretty much it. give you a like, friend. How's your mic quality? Oh, fairly decent. Okay. Sorry, I should be paying attention. Yeah, but no, I'm, no, go, go, no, go ahead and talk about other Let's Plays. Let's bring the I, view count even lower, why not? So, I'm so bored. <laughs> but I, I am glad Hatsuha's getting time to shine. And what are we doing talking about how we're going to make Sakura feel better? Okay, I'm a little less interested in that. Like, did we forget about her parents asking her to come home? Did we, it's, is that just not a thing? We could have had a whole chapter about that! We could have had a whole thing about just you know, like, oh, I have, I want to go back, but I really don't want to. But Dad says I have to. Let's, let's go meet their family, and then maybe we, maybe we can meet Sakura's dad while we're there too, because they know each other, and that's how they're like that. And you know, hey, come on back. Hey, Sakura, want to come back too? Oh no, Seijiro, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna win both of these beauties back to your theater? But that would be intriguing. No, let's just talk about how Sakura's sad because the main character of the game that we've been looking at this time is actually evil, and she just can't handle that, and she can't do anything, and she's useless. But we gotta feel. So Sorry for her, even though she's fucking useless, but whatever. Alright. I'm gonna have you take a sip of water. I'm, I'm gonna have you take a couple deep breaths. Not telling you to calm down. This is just for your health at this point. Oh, hi, Anastasia. What's that? You want to talk about Sakura some more? Go right ahead. <laughs> Maybe there is a glitch in the Matrix. It's like we have a god figure that is right there in front of us and we made her sad. <gasps> Maybe she's the Iblis trigger. Maybe. Yes, the practice sessions that we haven't seen or alluded to or seen any sort of growth or improvement on. 
But trust uh -huh. me, I see her acting, and I can see her true character when she acts. It is so great the way she acts when she's acting. She's great. But we can't, and we haven't. I don't know why the game trips over itself to make Sakura seem so great, even though she's not that special. She's kind of average. She's kind of ordinary. I don't know why well, she's so, like, I, I it, it, it baffles me. It's, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. If, I don't, you're, if you're into that, of course. I don't have the words as to why they're just making this seemingly average anime chick into the second coming of Christ. I know you've lost touch with anime for quite a few years, but this but, happens all the goddamn time. Would you believe, now more than ever, I'm starting to come back a little bit? Oh, yeah. Like, everybody keeps saying anime is saved when one good show comes out. A lot of it is garbage, but there's always been good stuff in like hidden in the garbage. You just gotta look. My my scent for bullshit is pretty good now. You know, I can tell it's like, oh, that, that's, look at this ridiculous nonsense anime. But I've seen someone's like, oh, that looks pretty good. So it's not that I hate anime. Oh no, anime can be pretty good. It's just another genre. It's it's just another medium like Western animation or books or movies or whatever. And I just I just know what I like. Kind of the this... sad part is the longer the title, the percentage goes down as to whether it's going to be good or not. Well, sometimes you can have, like, a pretty clever title out of it, but, you know, sometimes they go in for, like, paragraphs, and it's like, oh, oh okay, the the joke gets really redundant. Mm-hmm. Is this a bad time to explain that this episode is brought to you by Crunchyroll? <laughs> hey, I don't, think, I don't think Crunchyroll wanted anything to do with this. <laughs> Actually, is that on their streaming service? Another thing I can look up while we're talking to Anastasia. Nah, I think it's Funimation. Yeah, they they're, got they're, the rights. They're definitely not going to talk to me. Uh, uh, and, and if they are, hi Funimation. Um, sorry it, about all this. Uh, that's, actually, I should probably apologize to everybody for what's been <laughs> happening. You know, it's, it's it's not me. It's it's Sega. I, I just I, you know, I, I apologize I, for this game being crap. I mean. I, I, I gave it a chance. I tried. I mean, if you if you I mean, like this game, that's great. But I just gotta tell you how 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 can I don't understand? I don't, I don't understand. Explain I don't to think me what's you good have about it. To, I don't think you have to apologize for a game like this because if I became an apologist, not for the game, but for the people watching, for you know the shit games that we've played in the past. I think well, we might be in a mental institution. I I just feel like I have to apologize because I bought this game and I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> Okay, th this is you talking to you now. Yes, it is. Like, you're looking at yourself in a hand mirror and going, I'm sorry. I've got a finger pointed right at, right at myself right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, don't worry. You got 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. You know, good writing, mm -hmm. T-rated uh, RPG. Sega published it. It's got a lot of anime tropes. It looks beautiful, though, and it's also got mechs, but the, everything about it is just better. So don't worry can play some of that to cool down from this shit. And that's saying something because 13 Sentinels is a mindfuck out the gate. Because they took great care in writing a great story. They just kind of... Everybody likes Sakura. She's the most popular girl in school. You know what? Let's go back to Chili. I, I hate hearing Sakura's name, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's switch to uh, the different different movies you like. How about that? Ah, uh, different movies I like. Well, of course, you know, I always have to mention my favorite movie of all time is Seven Samurai by Akira Kurosawa. You know, that would be that'd be a good great place to take the next Soccer Wars game. Make you know movies and stuff like that out, out of the theaters and into film. That'd be a great step forward. That'd be a great idea for a reboot, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, just seeing the steam powered like old recording devices that would be really neat so what's your favorite disney movie of all time my favorite disney movie hmm
You know, that is a very hard one because I grew up watching basically that. It's easy for me. Lion even, King? Even with all the nostalgia goggles put on and everything, my favorite is still Zootopia. Oh, that's a good choice. The, I just, still haven't watched it, but... The, the, the way it looks is just incredible, and the visual gags is just... I, I laugh every time. Hmm. Like, I love Lion King, and I love, well, a lot of others, but Zootopia just, just, it just tops it. Now, in terms of 2D hand-drawn animation, that's definitely probably Lion King. Yeah, I think now that I'm older, I can appreciate all the movies a lot more, because, you know, I understand them now. You have a different eye for it now, as an adult. Yeah, I, d I don't want to. I don't want to say Lion King first of all because it's your choice, and second of all because it's Hamlet. <laughs> but mm, Aladdin is still way up there for me. Ooh, Aladdin, another good one. Mm. I know that's kind of a cheap shot, but it truly is a great film. All right, switch genres. Uh, what's your favorite uh, comedy? My favorite comedy will always be until something tops it, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. We think similarly because my favorite comedy of all time, and it will always be until something tops it, is Hot Fuzz. Hey, Edgar Wright, all the way. <laughs> Edgar Wright, all the way. <laughs> Ride that to the moon. <laughs> that man can do no wrong. It's just the quick cuts are so good. All right. And, uh, you know, I didn't really notice the transition still Baby Driver, but... Yeah. Favorite Marvel movie. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Um, favorite Marvel film would probably be... Talking MCU, you know, just, yeah. MCU, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I I have a, a soft spot for Age of Ultron. Easy for me, Ant-Man 2. Really? Oh, yeah. Like I always say, I have I have only seen Endgame the once. I have seen Ant-Man at least 15 times. And it gets funnier every time. That's very interesting, because... I don't remember a single thing from Ant-Man and Wasp. See, that's, that's too bad, because it uh, it kind of slipped in, you know, under the radar, and people didn't give it much thought because, oh, it's that one Ant-Man movie, which is also very, very funny. It's hilarious, my god! It's it's paced so perfectly if you pay attention. There's a point where uh, Ant-Man and uh, Dr. Pym and Hope are all tied to a chair, and the bad guy comes out and explains why he's the bad guy for this role, you know, what his role is in the movie, and what's happening, what's going on. I timed it. He talks for exactly five minutes before Scott's phone rings, and then the joke goes on. Wow. It is perfectly timed. They give you five minutes of exposition, so that way you know you're you're up to speed on what on um, what the stakes are here, and then immediately we we go. I like the idea for the villain in that one, the the assassin that's like glitching out. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. I love Ant Man and the Wasp. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's go back to the past for a little bit. What's your what was your favorite game growing up? Oh, my favorite game growing up. I, I, I had a lot, because there were a lot of games, of course. But one that just pops in my mind right right now that I just immediately thought of was Wario Land 3. Very good choice. Yeah, I only had Wario Land 2, and I never finished it. Mainly because I got frustrated because I couldn't get all the ending tiles. Another one was, of course, the Kirby series. My 64 kept me warm during those cold elementary school winters. Um, I think mine would have to be... It's going to be a twofer, because it kind of has a story behind it. A Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time. Mainly because when A Link to the Past came out, I had to have my dad help me beat Ganon. And then when I got good enough to play a 3D's game, like Ocarina of Time, I was the one that had to help my family beat Ganon. So, full circle. 
Hi, Hatsuho. Who's your favorite redhead? Well, right now it's Hatsuho. You seem like you're in good spirits, so what's up? You want to chat? All right, fine. That's what we've been doing, basically. Nothing's been going on. Do you want to look at the stars, Hatsuho? Wait, she's calling me Kamiyama instead of Captain. <gasps> what? Could it be that we've entered another stage of our relationship? Does that mean she's gonna show me her pa 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 passion? It's like lacing up the shoes to walk to first base. <laughs> and then tiptoeing all the way there. But uh, yeah, oh. you know, I, I like it. Why not? I saw that first name option. I wonder how the well that would go over. <laughs> you can call me uh, okay. Cockslap Johnson if it's sick with your fancy. <laughs> uh, you can call me by what I call my dick, aka Mr. Fantastic. Why, because okay. he's stretchy? <laughs> <laughs> because it grows. <laughs> You can call mine thing because it's covered in rocks. <laughs> no, you can call you can call me the Human Torch because my dick is currently on fire. We're a family now, except one of those members of our family cares more about themselves. Don't do it. Don't change the subject. Stay you know, here. You, you, oh my god, I, f I, f I feel a bit lighter. Just talking about random shit made me feel a lot better, actually. That's what I'm here for, man. But hey. Hey. Whatever, you know. All we gotta, all we gotta just worry about is the game's tomorrow. Come what may, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna kick their asses because, you know, we're, we're great and awesome and all that. Yeah! Because I'm here. Uh -huh. If I'm here, we can do anything. Yeah, anything. Oh, yeah. I, 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 yeah, totally. We can do it. <laughs> Get Bromide? Some bromides, yes. Bromide? What do we have here? Orihime Soleta. Wow, that is... Oh, damn. That's pretty. What is, what is up, girl? That that's that invokes passion and beauty and why am I why am I not playing that game instead of this shit where we're talking about feel nope nope yeah, I'm getting there again nope just, just, okay <laughs> so was that bromide from the third game the one about Paris maybe uh, maybe another bromide Maria Tachibana that one Yo. Is, that one's four okay. Why haven't we tried to, like, get the other Soccer Wars games to work? I don't know. I'm really <laughs> gonna look into it now. <laughs> They've got English translations all over the place, dude. Of course they do, because they want them to come stateside so bad. Yeah. There's another... Somewhere around here I thought there was. Maybe that's... It's... Oh, oh, the atrium. That's that. That's this here. Yes. Uh, okay. You know, th there's a few games you've wanted to experiment with, just to you know bring to the channel, like games that were Japan only, but you wanted to bring it over here. I'm not going to spoil it because you yeah, know, it's a I got very a, important game. I, I got a couple of ideas, but oh, oh. Ooh. yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah! You, you know, I'm gonna take a minute to talk about Kosuke Fujishima. He's the artist who's, you know, for all these special, uh, Burmans we've been collecting. He's a manga artist, he's done a lot of art for a lot of games, most notably the Tales series as well. Mm. And, uh, he's... He's one of two artists I mainly focus on there. The other is, uh, Mutsumi Inobata, but, you know, whatever about her. Uh, I love Kosuke Fujishima. He is he is a great artist. I really like the way he uh, just makes characters. I just I like his art style and the way he just makes objects, especially his motorcycles. He has, he has just really good motorcycles. So uh, he he uh, is the one who did the Ah oh My Goddess uh, fucking yep ma manga. You know Oh My Goddess or whatever. 
Mm-hmm. You know, you, you you look it up and you go, oh yeah, oh yeah, that that was him. That went that went for a long time, but now he's doing one called Tapu GP, and he's doing what he does best. It's a motorcycle racing manga, oh. and it fuck and it looks fucking sweet. Oh, what was that called again? It's called Tapu GP. Tapu GP. Yep, Grand Prix. Oh yeah. And, oh uh, yeah, that's you, totally him. It's uh, actually published here in America thanks to this episode is sponsored by Crunchyroll Manga. No, it really isn't. It really isn't. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Huh. Well, s something to look forward to for later. I'm just saying that's what he's up to. He's too busy doing a motorcycle manga to do this shit. Well, that's okay. And then what's funny is that because they're using bromides of his work, he's still getting royalties for that. Hell yeah! That's well, what's up? that was an episode. Next time on Soccer <laughs> Wars, we're gonna fight in the games finally. And end this once and for all. Chili. See you next time. Chili, chili.